deprioritizing one to invest in the other. It's just prioritizing fighting capability over 20 years versus potential capability post 2014. The Tempest core concept is a capability to replace Typhoon uh, from 2040. Uh, it's not clear yet uh, how that capability is going to be configured. Uh, the main decisions are being made uh, at the moment and due out in late 2020 for these sort of initial options. What we do know is that there's likely to be a system of systems approach taken, so a mix of unmanned systems, novel weapon systems, space-based capabilities, perhaps cyber capabilities, and some sort of air vehicles in the middle. Now that might be piloted air vehicles uh, that look much like a fast jet or the model behind me in the in the projection uh, or it might be something else um, but at the moment uh, all that is certain is that it is a capability to replace Typhoon for both the UK and Italy. Personally uh, I think that depends on how much resource the country is willing to push at it. If the defence equipment plan is to be the source of most of the funding, I don't see where uh, the money comes for, from for a full-scale fighter jet programme, as it were. Um, um, so for a piloted fleet, because you need crews and crews need to be trained up and then kept competent and current, uh, that requires a lot more flying hours and a lot more aircraft. So for me, if it has to come out of the equipment programme uh, to avoid a massive hit to every other aspect of defence, a uh, UCAV unmanned solution is probably uh, at the core of Tempest, what, what seems logical to me. It's the only uh, British asset that we have at the moment that is capable of penetrating ISTAR. So uh, going into defended airspace, uh, airspace defended by modern uh, surface-to-air and aerial threats potentially, uh, and conducting that critical ISTAR, that find, identify, fix, track, uh, activity against hostile targets. Um, so there's a lot of dependency across all three services for that penetrating eye star on quite a small number of F-35s. So to my mind, uh, the decision to deprioritize F-35 numbers, cap it, the rumor at the moment is 70 or yeah, thereabouts, is a straightforward choice um, between the government prioritizing keeping a national industrial combat air industrial capability, so keeping BAE Systems and Rolls-Royce in the combat air business as well as all their subs uh, subsidiaries and suppliers, versus operational capability between now and 2040.